Okay, Phil, I, I just want to know, is there anywhere left to go? Where, where, where else is there left to go? There's so many places to go. You know, by the time we get around the whole world, we'll be ready for space exploration. We will travel to other planets and beyond. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Here's the thing, you go to India, we've been to India like 12 times, you could go to India 100 times and you never use up what's, what, what India has to offer. And I think we've been to over 100 countries, there's something like 160 around the world, I mean, depending on who's counting, because people count countries differently, but there's still a lot to see. We have not been to Nepal, we haven't been to Antarctica, uh, there's so many places we haven't gone. So what will we see on the next upcoming season? Well. What we did was really cool this season. We actually invited fans to come to the start of the race in Times Square. So at 3 o'clock in the morning, and we said across all social media, hey, we're starting the amazing race in Times Square at 3 o'clock. Come on down and say hi. So all these fans came down, and they supported us as these, as these teams were running away to start their race around the world. So that was the coolest. That was that was like something we've never done before where we've opened up the start of the race to the public. And then from there, everybody knew the, all the teams. And, and so it was sort of out there. You know, we've just never done that before. So I, I, I hope we do more things like that. Listen, we live in a new era now. It's not, it's not 2001 when we started. We live in a new era. And I think people tweet us when we go around the world anyway. Let's open it up. Let people, let people in. Let them see what's going on. So, all right, now I'm curious. Let's say I wanted to enter into the show. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't obviously because I work for CBS. It's not going to happen. But what advice would you give someone who's gone through all, all these past seasons? What's something that people need to have to make it to win it? That's probably the best question I've, ever, I've had all night. Uh, the reason that is hard to answer is because I don't know if anybody really knows what the secret ingredient is. I mean, look at look at how dysfunctional some of these teams are that end up winning the race. In season three, Flo and Zach actually gave up on the last leg, second to last leg, before going into the final leg. They gave up. They said, we're done. We're done. And they won. So I think part of the success of Amazing Race is that it's unpredictable. The key things are, of course, that you have to have your passport. Without your passport, you cannot go anywhere. Strap your passport to your body. Like, wear it underneath all your clothes and do not let that passport. That is your ticket to a million dollars and that is your ticket to see the world. That's really the only advice I can give you. The rest of it is read your clue, pay attention, try to get as much sleep as you possibly can, and uh, get to the finish line first. I mean, really. <laughs> hey, that's good advice for me. Here's the thing. This show's been on 25 seasons. We all take a little wager at the beginning of every season. I'll be totally honest with you. And we've been doing it for more than a decade. None of us have ever got it right. Not once? Not once. Not once. So that shows you how unpredictable the show is. I'm not going to listen to you in the office pool then. No. No, no, I'd be terrible. Well, I am terrible. No, nobody wins the money. We end up just like throwing it all in and having a beer at the end of the race because, you know. That's not so bad either. No, no, that's not bad.